Hi everyone, Jennifer here, back with another edition of TV Talk. It's Thursday, and that means it's Legend of Korra Day. And this week's episode was Skeletons in the Closet. With the Equalist having demolished General Iho's relief fleet, the general and the general, the Avatar, and her friends make the decision that they need to find out where the Equalist's new airships are coming from. But Korra decides she must face Amar herself and put an end to this. And Mako decides to go with her. And in doing so, they learn a secret about the Equalist's leader. Okay, things I liked about this episode. First off, if I mispronounced anybody's name in that summary, I apologize. Um, so first off, things I liked about this episode. I really liked everything about this episode. First off, we are introduced to a new character who is General Iho, and I don't think I need to tell you guys exactly who he's connected to in the show. That's right, he's connected to Zuko. Now, when I first saw him in the previous episode, because that's when he first appears at the end of it, I thought he was Zuko's son. Now, I think he's Zuko's grandson, and there's a couple reasons for this. Number one, he looks to be in the same age group as Korra and her friends, which means if he is Zuko's son, he was a late-in-life son, um, which, you know, is possible, but highly unlikely. Second, he says something along the lines of his grandfather would respect the Avatar's instinct or the Avatar or something like that. Zuku's father would not have respected Aang at all. Aang stood between him and total control of the world. Zuku, on the other hand, especially going into season three of the Avatar, fought alongside Aang. Well, actually not especially going in. As of like maybe halfway through or a quarter of the way through season three of the Avatar, of Avatar fought alongside Aang and his friends. So it stands to reason that he gained respect for Aang in doing so, and that he would in turn respect not only Aang as the Avatar, but any other Avatar that was reincarnated after him, so he would have respected Korra's decision. So that one quote right there that one line right there makes me think he's more Zuku's grandson than his actual son. I also liked the backstory we got on the leader of the Equalist. Uh, I think his name is Amir or something, and I could be mispronouncing it if I am, I apologize. I was like, whoa, that's kind of mind-blowing, and I don't want to get into it here. Um, just in case um, anyone who's watching this video hasn't seen Legend of Korra yet. Um, so that was really like an eye-opener. It's like, holy cow. Um, and the fact that it's not him who's saying, who's giving the backstory. It's not, and it's not something that, you know, Korra and Mako, I believe is how you say his name, stumble onto. It's someone literally tells them this backstory. And it was like, to me, it was just like, holy cow. Um, it was just, it was really, really cool. And I, I, this is, and I really, really, really want to talk about it. So for those of you who have seen this episode, I will do a spoiler video for this. Um, probably will be up Friday at the very latest Saturday. Uh, definitely by the posting of the next, um, Korra video, I promise. 
Okay, flip side of that coin, things I didn't like about this episode. Really not a lot I didn't like about this episode. Um, this series, I mean, in my opinion, there's differences between it and Avatar. I mean, granted, there's going to be. Um, there is a somewhat age gap or um, gap in years between um, Avatar and Korra. Um, but they occupy the same world, so there's going to be some similarities as well. And this, in my opinion, it does kind of, if you look at Avatar and Korra, there are some similarities in the storytelling and in the flow of the characters, which I, I think is really cool. I mean, you've got the Avatar, you've got two siblings, um, you've got three benders, um, you've got, um, one non-bender on the team, you've got the um, you've got the bonded animal of the, um, avatar. You've got a cute little furry animal that's just really along for the ride. And now you have Fire, Fire Nation royalty, um, joining the fray. So it does, to a degree, kind of follow avatar. It's just more updated. Um, so really not a lot. I but anyway, so not a lot I couldn't find that I didn't like about this episode. Um, I'm sure some of the things I'm a little confused on will tie in to the next episode. I believe the next episode is the last one in the season, and then we're moving on to season um, two. Um, but don't quote me on that. I'd have to double-check my DVDs. Um, but they're doing a really good job. They're really... Tying up some loose ends. Um, I th I think if the next episode is the final episode for season one, there's going to be a big cumulative battle, or it's going to end in a cliffhanger and go into season two. It's going to be one of the two if next week is the final um, epi episode for season one. Okay, feel free to check out my related Avatar videos. My other Legend of Korra videos. my other TV talk videos. and my other videos.
Okay, before I sign off, a few things I'd like to touch on. First off, a quick reminder on my comment rolls. Okay, please leave your comments and questions in the comment section. I do love to read those. Also, feel free to follow me on Wattpad, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. I do have my name for those four sites right there on the screen, as well as the pictures I use for the icons. Please note that all pictures seen within this video do belong to their respected artists. I own absolutely nothing. Also, the links for any sites mentioned in this video will be in the description section. Okay, YouTube subscribers. Any of my videos that are not on YouTube are on my Facebook page. Facebook friends, basically the same deal. Any of my videos that are not on Facebook are on my YouTube channel. And to anyone who's interested, you can feel free to check out my Facebook group, Fanfic Corner. I would like to apologize for not posting a video in a while. Unfortunately, I was out of town, and then I got sick, and then I got busy. Okay, finally, DreamWorks Dragons will be coming to an end in December, and that means that there will be an opening for a new TV Talk series for Sunday, and that means that you guys get to vote and tell me what show you would like me to do a set of videos on. Your choices are Horseland, Outlaw Star, Dot hex sign and Inuyasha. Voting is extremely simple. All you have to do is write down a positive comment on one of the four shows listed and or like or love a positive comment on one of the four shows listed and whichever one gets the most votes is the one that I'll do a set of videos on. Please keep in mind that negative comments and dislikes do not count as votes and if Inuyasha is selected I will be doing up through the first season of the sequel as of the posting of this video. Voting will be until the 4th of December, but if I have to push this back, I will let you know. You may vote as many times as you wish, but please keep in mind that in the event of a tie or no votes, I do have the final say. Also, for those of you watching on YouTube, there is a poll on my home page where you can also cast your votes. However, that is a one-shot vote, so be sure to think long and hard before you select a TV show. So far, the voting stands at two votes for Horseland and four votes for Inuyasha. However, you have a little over a month left, so be sure to get your votes in and make your voices known. Please like and share if you're watching on Facebook, or like and subscribe if you haven't already, if you're watching on YouTube. And as always, thank you for watching, and have a very nice day.